Hi, I'm Caroline Weaver. I'm a spiritual director with Body and Soul Companion, and I'm also an Ignatian director. And so I am bringing you through an Ignatian model of discernment. I've read many books, probably about six books of discernment. And one of my favorites is The Way of Discernment by Elizabeth Liebert. So I'm kind of using a framework of her different ways of making a decision. But this is across the board. This is my Ignatian mentor who trained me in the exercises. This is step number four in his nine steps that I've talked about, all those steps. And this is step number four, but it's I'm really expanding upon step number four. But one of this particular day, we're going to look at gathering all the necessary information. I'm also going to give you a link to a very simple Ignatian process of discernment by Jim Manny, one of my favorite authors on Ignatian spirituality. So we are gathering all the relevant necessary information. So it's, it, you're asking your Self the question, who, what, when, where, why, and how, and I think how much. Sometimes our decisions involve money. So we have to look at our values about the expense of something and the cost-benefit ratio. So gathering that information is really important. How much time, if you make this decision, how much time will it take? How much of your energy? What are your other obligations that might interfere with if you say yes to that thing? Um, so also the another step is so you gather all the relevant information and also you gather information about yourself and your personality and maybe even a history and life experiences. We're going to do a little bit of that, but what do you know about yourself from the past or what do you know about yourself from your personality? For instance, I'll give you an example. I am a, a J on the Myers-Briggs. I like closure. I am very responsible. I am, I follow through on my commitments. And yesterday, you might recall we drilled down to our deepest desires and underneath what's even underneath that. And I, I heard God say, you are a very thorough and dedicated person. And that is a good thing, Carol. I just felt the confirmation of God. So the decision I'm making is, do I have the bandwidth to be very committed to this class I'm thinking of taking, do I have the bandwidth to do the reading, to do, it's a direction, spiritual direction, continuing education course, and meet with directees and write up um, summaries, verbatims from that, and do I have the capacity with my personality to add 10, I think it's eight to 10 more sessions with a directee in order to new directees because they would be children. See, I usually do direction with adults. And so I have to know my personality too. Is direction with children going to be a way that I go? It's one step away. I realize in my personality, I love casting vision and inspiring other people to do things. That's what I know about my personality. I love to, um, I would love to motivate others that are called to children to um, consider doing spiritual direction with children. So that's what I know about my personality. And I know that do, can I do a good job in my memory? I had a memory of doing, uh, being in a, in a, in a four and a half month uh, short term mission that the prerequisite of it was to take the perspectives on the world Christian movement um, class. And I was the last person to join and I had three weeks to complete that course and everybody else in, in the, there was 16 of us, everyone else had 
three months to prepare by that prerequisite, taking a class or doing it self-paced. And I was the only one that was done with all my reading and all my prerequisite of the Perspectives on the World Christian Movement course before. And I'm not doing that to brag, but I know my personality. I know myself well. You are a very thorough and dedicated person. And so can I really be thorough and dedicated to this class? And would maybe postponing it be a better option so I could create bandwidth? So that is just my examples, but also consulting with my husband and also con um, so con consulting with friends. I did that on Sunday, consulting with my husband about it. And then my coworkers, I have other things that I do, spiritual direction, group spiritual direction, where I'm with other coworkers. Do I have the band? Will I be able to still be committed to that and do this class? Um, so that's just to look at all of, that's gathering information and also writing the person who is leading the class, the specifics of what is required. And I would have gathered that information at the beginning, but when I signed up for the class, I thought it was a one day seminary for 25, seminar for $25. Um, and it wasn't, it was a 10 week class for about 20 times more of that. Yeah. So that's with information I wished I would have gathered up front, but it wasn't available to me. And so I made an assumption and that's on me. So I want you, this is just a very short video because what you want to do is get your journal out. Look what you've written so far gather all the information that you need to make a very well informed um, to head toward making a very well informed decision. I think that's all for now. So I want to pray for, I want to pray over you as you journal about the relevant information. You might have to send emails or call people to get more information. You might have to consult with people. That's why we can't do this in the context of a video. But Lord, I just pray a blessing over this decision that is being made. Lord, I pray that you would um, gather the information, that doors would open, that information would flow, this seems like such a mechanical step, but Lord, I want to pray for the blessing of your presence and that the gathering of information would be ordered and directed by you. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.